Hello and welcome back to another Brett Plays Flight and Review and today we are taking out another F-18. This particular one is a two-seater F-A-18F Super Hornet. This is a recently released on FlightSim.to like the EA Growler uh, that I showed off already. Same developer, Aviator671 has put this in as a free download. So this is a free mod F-18. So it's a completely different model to the already in the sim Asobo one, but we are using the Asobo cockpit. So what you will see, I'll show it off uh, in a moment, is that the interior cockpit is a single seater. We're actually flying a twin seater. Now I am taking a Australian livery because I am Australian and this is what we have here in Australia. Uh, obviously I'm taking off from the international airport, not where these fly from. There are, I think it was eight liveries, or was it 18 liveries? It might have even been 18 liveries. Uh, lots of liveries for you to play with. There is a paint kit. I'm sure there will be a whole bunch soon as well. But what I will show you is, let's put the wings down first. So we'll go inside. Wings fold. Very nice. Now, there are weapons available for this. I am going to go through it like I did with the EA Growl. If you haven't seen that video, hang around to the end. I will also put a link in the end of the video for it. Okay, so we can change all the weapons. We are running uh, AIM-9 at 200 pounds on the wingtips. We could change that to 150. So then we get the... ACMI. I'll take it back and leave it so that we are even on both sides. So you can make the left and right different. Okay, that was moving a little fast there. All right, so let's go through this. So we have uh, the outer 70 is the default uh, weight for a station. So we just put in the station there. Or you can put in 150. We have another one of those uh, ACMIs. We can put in 350 for an AIM 120. Nope, I wrote that one wrong. Try 380. There we go or we have 1,000 pound bombs. So let's go for that. All right, there we go. You can do the same on the other side. I will pop back for 350 for this particular flight. We can do the next uh, left mid, same again, 70 or 300. And 300 is fuel, yep. We can actually load up the next one with fuel as well, or we can put in larger missile. 600 is a laser guided bomb. Bomb? Missile? Hang on. Missile. Thank you. And or we can put in two 120s. and 1,000 bomb again, or someone can, I haven't actually read the information on what this one is, but uh, very nice. Uh, there's also 1150, is that a, is that an AIM-65? Not sure. I'm not very good with my missile. Somebody can write a comment down below. Actually, let me know which ones these are. Uh, we do have a two-pack of bombs. We have another two-pack of a thousand. And then we have a 2,000 pound bomb. So you can actually add a lot of weapons on here. I think we will go back to a missile there. On the next rack, so the next one in, we can do very similar, 
but we do have a couple of varieties so we have a small fuel tank you can use this as a tanker I will show that uh, soon so we can put in a small a larger when I say a tanker we can actually turn this into a refueler the center uh, fuel tank can be used as a refuel pod uh, well we're up to 400 look at this I actually don't know what that is someone can let me know not sure whether that's some sort of electronic warfare jamming or what it is actually looks like it could even be a um, some sort of drop maybe a test thing someone can let me know bombs again so we can load this out with bombs lots more bombs larger bombs because you know you never have too many can you and even larger all right i will take the small fuel tank for this particular run and on the fuselage we can have the at flow you can see that actually pops in or we can take a aim 120 by putting in 350 and then what we're looking at is what's on the other side so now we've actually got it lined up with a few missiles there actually you know what we could put it in a couple more aim 120s there instead so what was that 600 No, that's our large one. 700. There we go. Now we're loading it up. So if we repeat the same on the other side, you actually get the same same pack. We could only put the um, flare on that side. You can't put it on this side. But you can put in a uh, 120 here. And then we will do the same as we've done on the other side. So small fuel I can't see it from here, let's go do it from behind there we go a 350 uh, tip is already the, yep, no that's good and enable smoke on logo lights 1 so if you put the logo lights on, hang on, all right, smoke will come on. Cool, all right, that's how you load it up. So there are lots of different options as opposed to the uh, G model. Now, center fuel, I didn't show that. You see, this is a full proper tank. If we were to change the center to a fueler, so center uh, is 450. We actually get a fueling pod. Now I haven't seen if there's a way to extend that or whether it's just for visual display. I will keep that for visual display for this. Why not? Okay. Uh, look, the aircraft, F-18. I'm not going to go through the full startup procedure. I think it's the same as what you have for the Asobo one. So I'm going to again auto start now i know people don't like that but for the sake of a review we will do that you can open the canopy on this one too it's over here now ladder goes down automatically and goes up when the engine starts. So my engine has started, ladder will return. Alright. But so your engines have to be off. I'll close the canopy now, we don't need that open. You do need to change your pilots from default. Default will be the airliner pilots. You need to change them to okay, it's gonna reanimate. Alright, no, that's good. Alright, we're on the left and right are starting up. Good. Okay, so if you want to turn on some lights pop down on behind the throttle here and also recognition lights 
you might actually take bright there taxi lights all right so we're starting up now the um, information on the website is weapons loadout is selected by entering the weights i've shown that the canopy can be opened on the ground with taxi lights okay the boarding ladder appears down when the canopy is open. I've already shown that. Formation and slime lights can be triggered with recognition lights if you have keys automatically selected. So we've already got them on. But that's because I went down and turned them on here. Okay, engines are up and running. Now the aerial refuel can be extended with wing lights. I think there is actually an extend as a launch bar. Launch bar doesn't show up, so... Uh, it actually says it doesn't show up. Tail hook and wing fold uh, work, but using built-in commands. But the animations are now visible in multiplayer. Air show smoke rule uh, systems can be enabled using the payload menu. When toggled, using the logo light. So if you use your logo light button, it'll actually pop the smoke. A center line uh, buddy buddy refueling pod can be added using payload. When added, logo lights will extend the drogue. Ah, there we go. Okay, logo lights will extend the drogue. I didn't turn my logo lights on, did I? That's inoperative. Which one's our logo lights? Might have to uh, do that with a key. not sure I might already have something that sets that up I'll check it uh, when I get in the air all right let's take us for a quick fly flaps up will reset all of these heart brake off flight stuff seems to be flight stuff seems to be running Now I have noticed, uh, compared with the previous EA18G Growler, the developer has moved the little red and green nav lights in board onto the aircraft. There's also been several updates on the Growler since I did my video there. So if you've seen that and coming over to watch this one to see what's different, the developer is working on it and, in, and improving it. Another thing that they didn't do in the last one but I think they have now is looking left is now inside the cockpit as opposed to where we were on previous to the nose so the developers are really onto it and I'm quite happy with that lots of awesome liveries on this including a Maverick one a Top Gun C-17 not something you see every day taking off in front of you way too fast. It's got a decent climb on that C-17. Alright. Now we're going to take this for a quick fly out over to the water, come back in through the heads underneath the bridge and land it back down. I'm not going to spend ages doing anything else. All the systems here, I believe, are the same as they were in the Asobo one. The flight model has changed. So okay, we'll read that here. Uh, cockpit is a single-seater F-18E cockpit using the Asobo gauges. Weapons still appear on the wings. The paint scheme will not match the back seat. All right, so you know that I'm in an Australian one here. But if I go out of the aircraft here, you see that I'm in a US one single seater. The weapons do still show like it says, but it's a single seater there. You're not going to be looking from that view. You cannot see your uh, co-pilot, so you're not going to. So it is 100% using the Asobo single seat. You do need to have that installed. It's a free download. Even if you don't use it, you do need to have it installed in order for this to show up. And with that, let's do a quick takeoff. I might just show on this view. And look at the wonderful afterburners that come with this.
All right, runs really well. Now, handling. It is a custom flight model. So the flight model is custom and should be provided generic fighter-like performance without targeting any specific real-world numbers. The engine and fuel systems are not necessarily accurate either. The Asobo implementation of fly-by-wire and especially auto trim is extremely basic and irritating to uh, fight or try formation. I'm sure someone will make a mod to uh, install uh, an Asobo to, to install the original Asobo fly-by-wire model for those that prefer it. There you go. Tail hook is functional. We could potentially land on these aircraft carriers. Now it only works with some aircraft carriers and I know for a fact that it doesn't actually work with this particular pack. This is the Super Spud uh, World Carriers. I do have several others. I do know from friends who say that it works with the uh, Hayware Super Carrier mods which is good. Uh, the weapons are most visual effects are controlled by lights as a hack to make them visible for multiplayer. So you will see these weapons if, if one of my friends were to fly with me and they have this mod installed uh, or I have it installed obviously and I'm, even if I'm in a different aircraft I will see what weapons they've chosen to put on or which ones they don't have if any at all. So that does show up which is pretty good. Now as far as performance, this is a lot of fun to fly. Let's take it back and have a land and I'll give you my final thoughts right now actually. Uh, very impressed with these, very happy that it's got an Australian livery at least. There is only one Australian livery that I've found. Alright, we just uh, blasted through the sound barrier. Always a nice sound for it. To slow down, otherwise, we're going to smack into the ground there or the water or both. Right, handles really well. logo light set on my particular aircraft to put the drogue out so no air to air refueling for this one but I think I might have to take this for a, uh, a live stream once I reconfigure my logo lights so that C-17 is still buzzing around there Pop in some air brakes. The gear only come down below a certain level, the speed. I like the flight model. You know, I've, look, it's not maybe not 100% accurate, but. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm landing. I don't need power. Thank you. <laughs> it's complaining. Maybe I'll get one of these uh, posts. Oh, got that one in. Didn't I? Yeah, very nice. So uh, I'll have a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all the rest. Uh, and anytime there's some more fighter jets and, and the likes I will be uh, making videos on them I've got a few other uh, other aircraft non fighter jet ones that are uh, out available now so feel free to uh, check those out too thanks for watching have a great day cheers bye